everyone. It's your favorite professor, Professor Ashley. So in this video, I wanted just to quickly let some people know about some of the five misconceptions about working in healthcare. There are a few myths going around about what it's like to work in healthcare. And a lot of these apply to healthcare administrators or people who want to work in healthcare, but they're turned off because there are certain things that they are somewhat afraid of. Okay, so the first one is that a lot of people believe that you need to work in a hospital or that's where majority of the jobs are. And while that is where a lot of people work in healthcare, a hospital, that's not where you need to work especially if you're going to become a healthcare administrator. There are a variety of so many different places you can work. So debunk that myth. The second myth that I'm debunking right now is there are very limited jobs. Most of the jobs are like doctor and nurse, which couldn't be further from the truth. Majority of the jobs that you can get in healthcare are not physician or nurse. A lot of the healthcare's workforce are techs, people who work in IT, dentists, phlebotomists, medical receptionists, researchers, other healthcare administrators, psychologists, anything in mental health. But physician and nurse is not the only option you have if you want to work in healthcare. So throw that one in the trash. So the next one is that you have to work crazy long hours and that you're probably on call all the time. And that's not true either. Yeah, I mean, it is true in some ways. Like, I know nurses do get burnt out. They suffer a lot with that. And they work very long hours. So do physicians. Many times physicians are on call. So they don't, some physicians, depending on your specialty and whatnot, you know, complain that they don't necessarily have a life. But, even that there are so many other occupations that in healthcare, most jobs in healthcare work normal, have just like a normal work week, like a normal nine to five, and maybe work 40 hours or less. So it's not really that bad. Another misconception about healthcare is that working in healthcare doesn't really have very much upward mobility. Like you're gonna get in a job or you go get your certification for a particular job and you start and then that's pretty much it. Which really couldn't be further from the truth. Above almost any industry out there, there's so many ways in which you move up. In fact, healthcare has a lot of different titles, a lot of different pay ranges. Typically, healthcare favors experience and education. So, as you start in your career, healthcare, more than likely what's going to happen is you're not going to be in that same position for too much longer. There's a good chance that you will be moving up quite soon. In fact, even with just experience alone, you could be in a totally new position making a little bit more money in a year. Of course, with more education, your mobility does not stop. With a master's degree, most healthcare jobs, especially if you're in healthcare administration, with a master's degree, you can go up to more of a director, executive level of a position. And usually this kind of thing would happen in larger companies and of course hospitals. I will give hospitals that. They do have a variety of different positions working as a team for the patient, as opposed to maybe smaller businesses or small practices and whatnot. So hospitals do have a lot more options. Another misconception of healthcare is that most jobs are just dirty. Well, yeah, some jobs you're definitely dealing with bodily fluids, of course, but there are a lot of jobs that don't, in fact, majority of the jobs in healthcare do not deal with body fluids. Okay, most jobs actually in healthcare are tech positions or administrative positions or pharmacy, lab, working in an office, 
as well. So you're not necessarily dealing so much with anything that's messy or dirty that some people may get turned off with or needles, right? Um, I know that's a, that's a thing. With a lot of people, many people decide not to become a physician or a nurse because they do not like needles or blood. Most jobs in healthcare actually do not deal with that. So you're safe. So last one, and I think that this is a bonus because I think I've already mentioned five. So another thing that people say or believe is that in healthcare, most of the executive jobs or director jobs, you know, those really high level administrative jobs are only given to those people who are a lot older, which actually is a true. Healthcare, you can't make mistakes. Healthcare is very, very important. You can't play around with healthcare. Generally, you're gonna get hired if you have the right experience and the right education to fulfill that job or to basically be like a really high performer for that position. Yeah, it does look like the people who get these higher positions are older and that's usually because they have so much experience and they have all the education, you know, they've, they've already done it, they've already lived it. So that being said, it's actually not too uncommon, especially in the smaller businesses, the smaller hospitals for CEOs to be 40 or even under 40 years old. Really, it comes down to experience and education and if you're the best fit, so I don't want to say that there, it's all for the old people. It's just a matter of whether or not you got it. I hope that was helpful. I am losing my breath. I'm at, I'm downtown St. Petersburg. It's extremely hot, but it's also very therapeutic. And as soon as that wind hits you, it's like, ah, yes. I hope that this was helpful for you and if anyone has any questions please leave them in the comments and I will try to get to it as soon as possible and I know in the past I have not gotten to those comments as soon as well I've gotten to them as soon as it was possible for me to not <laughs> your schedule but I do apologize for that I have taken a long time to respond recently so but I am making an active effort to not be like that anymore or to not do that. So please leave your comments, questions, and everything like that in the description and I will get back to you. Ta-ta for now.